Hi everybody, welcome to our tour of a 1984 MCW Metrobus 2, the experimental Trackline 65 model. Now this was painted in a distinct West Midlands livery, silver, red and black. These ran from 1984 to 1987, 14 buses were acquired by West Midlands Travel and they had the specially fitted front guide wheels. They ran along a 600 meter concrete edged guideway. And today we're going to give you a full tour of this lovely restored silver bus with our kind thanks to Aston Manor um, Transport Museum, which is also known as the Aldridge Transport Museum in the West Midlands again. Enjoy the video. So here we have a Trackline 65, which was a trial bus, experimental, by West Midlands Travel. Now it was a Metro Camel Wayman MCW Metrobus 2, just show you around the back. And what was experimental about this bus was they tested driverless. I'll show you where that is at the moment. There you go. It was in a straight line, but the bus effectively drove itself. I'll put a few more details on that for you. This was number 8110. I'll show you from the front. Track line 65. I think the year's round about 1984, but I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description for you. 1984 model, I think. Please let me know in the comment section if I've got that wrong. Step back. Show you down the side. And then we'll take you for a little tour on board as well. Let's go on board. Right, so let's step on board. Ticket machine. Your seating capacity is there. 43 seats upper, 30 seats lower and 12 standing. Let's go around the side. I remember this upholstery when I was younger. Luggage rack. Ticket machine. Beg your pardon, use tickets and use tickets again. Driver's cabin. Just gonna see if we can get you to have a look inside there as well. Show you a little tour of the driver's cabin. Pedals are down there. It was a nice view. All the switches on the far side. Start button on the far side as well. Let's see if we can pan round. There we go. 
There's more equipment up there. Some camera as well. To monitor the passengers. I think that's an electrical circuit. Driver's chair. Bit of adjustment on it. Okay, let's show you the lower deck. Just going to close that. If you get a chance, guys, Aston Manor, Aldridge Transport Museum. Really nice, polite staff, very helpful. Well worth a visit. Slightly different seat base there, but we'll pretend we didn't notice that. That's the Gardner engine is beneath there. It's for your signage at the back. And there's an emergency exit there at the back as well. Seats, let's look forward. Wow, look at that. Just how it used to be. These windows, you pull them towards you. Don't particularly want to touch anything, so... Gives you an idea. Yeah, it is a 1984 Metrobus Mark II. West Midlands Travel. Let's take you upstairs. It was non-smoking, and here we are at the top. We'll start from the front. The bell we used to ring. Okay, not working, but doesn't matter. Beautiful bit of nostalgia. I'll show you that velour upholstery. Nice bit of legroom. go to the front sorry from the front to the back that's your emergency exit let's pan round now we'll go towards the front beautiful bit of nostalgia Nicely restored. Obviously it's a work in progress. But it's a very nice work in progress. And then you have the front seats. This was my favourite seat, right at the front. I think again that's for the signage, access, periscope, where you could see the driver and the driver looked up onto that mirror to see what was going on on the bus and then it's back down the stairs so let's head back down the stairs we'll try and do this without falling down carrying the camera and all the lighting used to carry uh, school bags down here as well, when we were younger. Back out to the lower deck. And back out. Hope you enjoyed that, thank you for watching. I'll see you the next time.